All right, welcome to the next video in our series. And uh, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create our, or finish creating our job component. And, um, and then after that, that'll be it. So let's get started. Okay, so we passed our job in. All right, so let's, I'm just, we're just gonna do this quick, so. Let's import our style components in. We're going to need moment as well for our date and then use history. Uh, we're going to have a back button at the top. All right. So let's see history. We're going to be using our use history hook uh, passed in from react router Dom. And then we're going to destructure our job. Okay. And then, all right, so let's add our back button. And uh, we want to say go back on click equals history dot go back. Let's make sure that works. There we go. Oh, second froze. Yeah, it looks like it froze. Give it a second. We'll just exit out of this. All right, so um, let's add our, we have to create a wrapper. So let's create a div. All right, and then we pass our image in. Our source is gonna be our company. Company.logo underscore URL. Or if not, we're just not even going to have an image. And then our alt will be our company dot name. Okay. Um, we're going to add our company link in under our image. All right. We're then gonna have an, a header with our location type and uh, what time the, or when the job was posted. I'm just gonna, uh, let's see, under title, we're gonna create another div. All right, and then we're just gonna copy and paste the job or the location and the title in. And then we need to paste in our moment. It's going to look the same as what we did in our. Um, it's going to look the same as what we did in our job card. All right. And then we need a wrapper for uh, a button for them to apply. All right. So let's say a div. And then we'll 
give another div because what we're getting past is dangerously or it's just HTML. So the way we put that out is dangerously set enter HTML underscore underscore HTML. And then we're going to pass it the job dot how to apply. All right. And then we're going to shift option and we're going to add our description in. Okay. All right. So that should be everything. Let's go ahead and add our styling and finish up this video. All right. So let's create our container. Um, we want a max width of a thousand pixels. Okay, let's add that in. Max width of a thousand pixels um, or twelve hundred, whatever you'd like. I think we did twelve hundred on the other one, so we want to keep it consistent. Uh, margin auto, so it floats in the middle, and we want a little padding. Um, let's add a back button. And that's for this button right up here. Uh, we just want a little margin around everything. Uh, we want to change the background color of the button. A little padding. We want, to, uh, we want the button rounded. Uh, we want to up the font size and change the cursor. So we'll say um, back button. All right, we need to create a wrapper. Go ahead and pass that in or change that, I mean. All right, and in our wrapper, we just want to add a little padding. And then we're going to target our company link, which is right here. We're just going to use classes um, and then target the individual elements because they're the only ones or it's inside of the wrapper, so it's within that scope. We're going to adjust our unordered list. That should push them in some. Perfect. Our unordered list, we just want to have a little margin below it. And then our paragraph. We just want a little smaller font size and a little lighter weight with um, a vertical margin. Okay, we have our image. Our image, our max width is 80%. Um, our max height, 70 pixels. Our border radius is 10 pixels, basically the same as our card. And let's change our image tag up inside of our JSX. So that's smaller. Um, we need to do our header raptor, wrapper and our apply wrapper. So our header wrapper, that would be these three right here. So let's add that in. And um, that'll just have it display flex because we want them going horizontal. We'll be adding a little horizontal, I mean, vertical margin, sorry. Um, they're all H3 tags, so we're going to add some padding, a little font size, like this one rim on font size, 400 on our weight, and we're just going to change the color. Um, let's see, header, wrapper. I think I did, nope, did the wrong thing. Let's move this up. That should only be under the H3s. Perfect. And then um, what we need to do is we need to work on our apply wrapper. And that's for this apply button. And 
uh, what we're going to do in this is this doesn't look too good. Um, and this is this is actually just AT HTML. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to target the anchor. All right. And we're going to set that to hidden. All right. This link right here. All right. So there's still a link there. We just can't see it. And then what we want to do is we want to use the after functionality. Sorry. And um, we're going to set the set the content or the name of it to apply. All right. And then let's just add a little margin in. And that is it. We are all done with this video series. We're all done with this video. And um, let's make sure it's responsive. And it is. Let's go back. There we go. And we are all set. So I just created a React app, um, a responsive React app with a uh, node and GraphQL or an Apollo server as your backend. And that GraphQL server is a wrapper around the GitHub REST API. All right. So um, I appreciate it if you guys go ahead and like this video and any uh, videos you have comments for or questions for just leave a comment under and I'll do my best to go ahead and answer your question or reply to your comments. Um, but other than that, I appreciate it if you guys um, subscribe and you guys have a good one.